it's another beautiful day out here. We're gonna get some more work done on the driveway. So first thing I'm gonna do is get all of this stuff filled in the tires. And then get a few more loads. We'll see how much we can get done today. Helps, uh, helps a lot. So here we are. We're digging out the area that the city ripped up when they put in our new drainage. Hi, camera. Um, so we're currently out here digging. Yeah, and anywhere where there is no more tires, there's a lot of standing water, and that needs to that needs to go. That's no good. My goal clear the wheelbarrow, but not let it get into that trench, or worse, cross the road. Are you ready? <laughs> As uh, you ever will be. Right. Already off to a bad start. <laughs> well, it didn't go on the road. And nothing. Same place. <laughs> oh! Well, that's just depressing. And the tire still stands. <laughs> we try to have um, screws uh, getting tires together on at least three sides. Um, if we have the availability to do it, we do all four. But you pretty much just create a little web work, a little honeycomb. Um, this is comparable to, uh, I believe it's called Geofabric, Geonet, uh, that might be a brand name though. Yeah. Um, Geogrid. Geogrid, thank you. And that's what's put down on every highway in America. That's underneath your blacktop. That's what keeps it together, uh, keeps it nice and strong. It's just not uh, made of tires, it's made of polymers. Yeah, the, um... We had that commenter from Wales. Uh, what was his name? Lloyd R. said, You missed out that this system is used by the British Army on their military training areas in Salisbury Plains. That means that the road is used by Challenger 2 main battle tanks, equivalent in weight roughly to Abrams. Not a very hillbilly then. Great video. Love from Wales. Um, it's always nice when was... someone has something useful and productive to say yeah and... it, was a, it was a great comment and uh yeah. you know said that it's common knowledge out there and obviously those roads are thrashed by the military been there done that um i wonder if my dad would know anything about that uh both my parents were active military all through my childhood um and spent some time in europe though never in the uk so he may not we get more uh, more cold weather it gets colder we get more snow and ice but Absolutely. very similar climates um and I think that he was referring to in the section of that video we were talking about how much weight it holds up to. A lot of people had asked in some videos I did on other platforms, um, uh, like, how, well, how are you going to be able to drive on that? How is that going to hold up? And he's like, tanks, man. Yeah. Tanks are on it. also it. handles those, those giant front end loaders that they use on, like, gravel pit roads and, exactly. and, 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 uh, and mines. Here. Like, they're, yeah, they're used heavily there, probably because... The companies that are setting those places up care more about long-term value than, I don't know, government contracts? I don't know. Oh no, Ben, where's the baby? <laughs> Let's see. 
but seriously, I am currently breastfeeding the baby, so she is not with Ben. <laughs> oh, that poor tire. It's screwed. <laughs> That's great. Oh, it just pops right back into shape. These will get a quick fill with some of the crushed gravel product we're using. This is a driveway blend from a local gravel company. Um, so it has a bunch of different sizes of stone, including crushed rock, uh, but it's silt free and sand free. So that's kind of nice. Okay. In the what? The dark forest. Okay. Dark forest. And? And? I'm going to make a trail to a dark forest. Okay. Like we're still in the green forest. Okay. So. someone can see you. I'm trying to get work done, kiddos. So, something you may not know is our kids are amateur cryptozoologists. Right now, they're out hunting for the laser bear. Now, we know a lot about the laser bear. C has told us a lot about the laser bear, but <laughs> do any of you know anything about laser bears? If you submit your fan art, I'm sure C would love to point out what is and isn't correct laser bear. So, <laughs> Send us a picture of what you think a laser bear looks like. I can tell you they're big, sometimes as big as a house. They usually only come out in the full moon. And, sometimes uh, the new moon. Sometimes the new moon. But they're in the deep dark woods and he's out looking for them. I can tell you they have big claws and well, you know, lasers. So go ahead, submit us some fan art, fan art with, uh, you know, <laughs> your idea of the laser bear and we'll, uh, we'll, have, we'll have him take a look at it and see if you guys There he goes. Well, stay safe uh, looking for the laser bears, all right? Here we go. Another bee. The toughest part of the tire. What a great idea. Whose <laughs> idea was this? If you're the viewer or person who watches us anywhere who suggested it, I want you to know it's a terrible idea. Look at all that metal. I won't be doing that again. <laughs> Butter. Looks like butter. Also not gonna murder your hands. Oh, there's steel in here. Ain't nearly as reinforced as the belt way. 40 seconds flat. That was me without a full battery. <laughs> Is this you? Do you like hiking? Oh. And skiing in Vermont? No. Do you eat kind bars? Do you throw them on the side of the road? So these are the tires that we just laid. We haven't done any tamping. We haven't done any anything other than walking on them. We haven't done anything special. Um, and this is how they hold up because the pressure from the car pushes down onto the gravel. The which tires. then pushes out into the walls of the tires, yep. Yep. which make it so they can't really go anywhere. It's like a spring. And it works great even when you've completely half-assed the job. Like right now. Yeah. So Sam. Yes. What do we need people do to do to uh, make sure they follow our progress? If uh, you like what you see here, my wares, my, my tires, my gravel, can like and subscribe, click the bell, go to our Patreon link, 
can sign up to be a patron. I think we have an Instagram. <laughs> we'll look into that and maybe put a link in the bottom I of know, the description of this my, video. I think, <laughs> I think it's all my old crochet stuff. So if you like <laughs> crochet. So if you like yarn and crochet hooks, you oh, can yeah. follow us on Instagram. <laughs> or um, coffee. I, we, we have, you can follow Flying Crow as well. Follow Flying Crow, get some coffee stuff, and uh, but mostly just like and subscribe here. Exactly, because this is all about the progress. Smash. Smash. Ding. ding. Do all of the things. Click. Push all the buttons. Yep. Uh, yep. That's that's right. You're messing up my ASMR, man. <laughs>